Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and we have a word problem that we have to read so we can determine what strategy we have to use in order to solve. The problem reads that, after a basketball game, 20 players equally shared 15 pizzas. How much of a pizza did each player receive? Express your answer using decimals. Well, the pizza is the item that is being shared or divided up, and the item that is to be divided up always goes inside our division sign. And the number 20 is going to go on the outside because we are trying to figure out how much pizza each player received. And the each unit, in this case players, goes on the outside. So as a rule of thumb, I always put the each unit on the outside. Now notice we are dividing a smaller number by a larger number. All that simply means is that we are going to have an answer that is less than one whole. Because, as you can see, 20 can't even be divided into 15 one time. It fits in zero times. So what we have to do is add a decimal after this 15, and then we bring our decimal up, and I'm going to extend this division sign a little bit, and add a zero in the first place value after the decimal, which is the tenths place. All right, now let's divide 20 into 150. 20 can go into 157 times. 7 groups of 20 is 140. The difference between these two values is 10. And because we still have a remainder, we have to add a 0 in the very next place value, which is the hundredths place, and drop that 0 down. Then we go back to our divisor of 20 and divide it into 100. And 20 fits into 100 exactly 5 times. And now that leaves us with no remainder. So now we know that each player on the basketball team will receive 75 hundredths of a pizza. Now another way to say 75 hundredths is 3 quarters. Because if you were to express 0.75 as a fraction or 75 over 100, that can be reduced to 3 fourths. So each basketball player on the team will receive three quarters of a pizza.